In this video, we're going to look at the indirect function in Microsoft Excel. Now, the indirect can come in very handy when you have situations where you have a workbook with multiple sheets that have the same type of data structure and you want to be able to quickly grab data from all of those sheets and summarize it on one tab without having to physically go click on each of those tabs. So that's what we want to do here in this example. I have this first tab called summary. We have a column in column B that has the 12 months of 2022 on each of these other tabs. The tab name is the branch name for which the data is for. So we have East branch here. We have the month in column B and then sales in column C. And the same for all of these other branches. I have a North branch, Central branch, South branch, West branch, and Main office. And what I want to do is use a VLOOKUP where the date column is our lookup value, pull in the sales figures for each of these branches here. So I have this set up in a particular way, and this is what you need to do the sheet names of each of your tabs needs to be your headers up top. So before we jump into this, what I want to kind of show you is what a sheet reference looks like. So I'm just going to, from this summary tab, hit equals and then go grab a random cell on the East Branch tab. So when I go back into the formula by hitting F2, you can see the sheet reference is this right here we have East Branch, the sheet name, enclosed in single quotes, followed by an exclamation point, and then the cell reference. So what the indirect function does is it allows you to refer to a sheet or range reference or both as text. So I'm going to begin with an opening double quote because this is text, and then do a sheet reference. So I need to begin with a single quote, then the sheet name, East Branch, end it with a single quote, then an exclamation point, and then the cell reference, which is B3. End that with a double quote, and oh, I think I pulled in B3 instead of C3. So we'll pull in C3, and you can see it pulls in the same amount and I didn't have to click on it. Now that doesn't really look that impressive for this type of simple example, but I'll show you where this can be useful. What we're going to do is use the indirect, refer to our header sheet names up top to perform a VLOOKUP to pull in the sales value where the date is the lookup value without having to click on any of our other sheets. So we're going to insert a VLOOKUP our lookup value is the date here. I'm going to hit F4 three times because I want this column to stay locked. When I drag this across, it always points to this column, but when I drag it down, the row is still relative so that it moves to the different dates with each row. For our table array, which is our lookup array on each of the sheets, here is where we're going to insert the indirect. So we're going to begin with double quote and then single quote and then the sheet name but since this is a cell reference now what I need to do is end this first single quote with a double quote use the and symbol to join it to our sheet name header here so I'm gonna hit F4 two times this time I want to keep the column relative so that when I drag this across it moves with our column but the row fixed so that when I drag this down we still point to this header here. So I'm going to use another AND symbol to join this back to a double quote and then a single quote and then an exclamation point and then our column reference. This is, think about this in terms of our VLOOKUP. So this is going to be our date column, column B, and then the column we want to pull back, column C. So that is our lookup array. 
back into our VLOOKUP, our column index is going to be column 2 because we want to pull back the second column. We want an exact match. So you can see that pulls in that value. When I drag this across, it pulls in all of the values for all of the other branch locations. So now I can check this really quick by going to the main office tab. I'm just going to copy this sales data, paste it directly to the right, can subtract it just to make sure everything is correct, and it is. So we just created a VLOOKUP formula really quick to all of our other tabs without having to click on any of them. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.